Greetings! This is Emily from UniEdit and I'd like to welcome you to this video. What advice do peer reviewers have for non-native speakers of English authors? Submission feelings. As native speakers of English academics who have submitted many papers for review, these peer reviewers understand the peer review process from the perspective of an author. After submitting a paper, one of my colleagues mentioned that they're always anxious, but hope that after the first review, the door will be open towards publication. In other words, there is never any expectation of publication or acceptance, but rather a level of hope that the peer reviewers will see enough in the paper to open a conversation so that the paper can be improved over the sometimes lengthy review process toward acceptance. Advice from experienced peer reviewers. When asked what advice peer reviewers would offer non-native speakers of English regarding their academic writing, they responded with the following. One, work with your co-authors in the field who are native English speakers to revise your paper. Have a native English speaker proofread or edit your paper, preferably someone who is also familiar with your subject area. Three, Use a professional editing service to make sure the finer grammatical issues have not been overlooked. Four, use what help you can get. Learn as much as you can from that help and don't feel ashamed of doing so. Doing academic research and getting published is hard enough without having to deal with a language of which you are not a native speaker. Five, factor in more time for the project life cycle to allow English language editing. Consider the process. My colleague stated something that seems true for all authors. While it is always upsetting to be rejected or to be asked to make major revisions, and sometimes authors feel that peer reviewers have missed the point or got it wrong. The key is not to take things personally. Thus, if given the opportunity, it is essential to revise and resubmit, to explain clearly how you have made the recommended changes and, if appropriate, why you haven't. Another colleague of mine takes a strategic view of the entire review process. As the process from submission to publication varies from journal to journal, it is advisable to send a few papers to lower tier journals that are likely to go through quicker and a few to higher tier journals that will probably take longer. That way, your productivity is less affected if you fail to succeed with some of the more ambitious journals. Once again, this is Emily from UniEdit. Have a wonderful day, and we hope you'll check out our website.